Before you take out that anger on the narcissist, before you tell them how miserable, nasty and rotten they are, I would like you to watch this episode because today I'm going to reveal the biggest secret to truly defeat a narcissist. I'm also going to share my personal experiences, the recent ones that I had with a cab driver and I'll tell you how I defeated his narcissism. If that sounds interesting, please make sure to subscribe before we begin. I'm your host, Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional. Stay tuned until the very end. It's widely known that a narcissist can only control you if they can control how you feel, if they can control your reactions. By making you feel a certain way, they can make you behave a certain way, which only favors them. It is through controlling your overall personality by emotions they feel powerful. And that is the ultimate secret we need to know. In there lies the answer. And the answer is you have to cut off that emotional supply. You have to take back that emotional control and that will leave the narcissist dry to die. But it is easier said than done. Because you know how manipulative they are. They're quite clever and strategic when it comes to pushing your buttons. And they know by saying certain things, by doing certain things, they, they will be able to make you feel a certain way. For example, they may subtly put you down and they'll know that will make you feel insecure and that might bring up anger. And your anger is what they need you to feel to feel in power. It's a cycle of trauma, drama, and chaos, which you do not want to be a part of, but they like to be a part of it. You have to understand the difference. If a narcissist is not able to assess what you are feeling and what your emotional experience is in a given moment, they will go crazy. Because for them not knowing what you are feeling is a total loss of control and that makes them anxious which then triggers their narcissistic defenses such as rage and then they push you even further to get something from you. If you are totally stoic, you're blank, you're not giving them any cues, they just lose further control. I'll give you an example later, my personal example and that is hilarious, but at the same time, you'll understand how to deal with these people in these situations when they are trying to put, enter the fangs into you, when, when they are trying to get something out of you. Your silence is your biggest weapon against the narcissist, as I said in the beginning of this episode. Why? Because by becoming silent, by becoming completely stoic, by not giving them the responses they want out of you, by not justifying yourself, by not taking those acquisitions personally, because you should know that a narcissist's acquisitions are confessions. By not defending yourself, by not explaining yourself, you are destroying a narcissist's control over you. They want you to fight. They want you to wrestle them. And for these reasons, disengagement from a narcissist is the only answer. As someone has brilliantly said, if you wrestle with pigs, the pigs are going to enjoy it. It's only you who will get hurt and dirty. To render a narcissist powerless and take all your power back, you must not play their game. You have to play your own game. And you have to be in control of the situation because they are reactive, ticking bombs. And they want you to explode as they explode. But if you choose not to do that, if you step out of the line, if you break the chain, then it's only the narcissist who is going to get burnt in the fire they lit in the first place. Let me show you how disengagement from a narcissist cycle of trauma, drama, and chaos can practically look like. I don't even look at you and think, oh my God, this girl's attractive. I can't. I can't. I just look at you and think, gross. Gross. Because your outside dude is honestly a reflection of your inside, and your inside is 
dirty and gross, dude, and mean. Not to everyone else, I'll just say to me. This is my personal experience, because you've been a to me, and you've been a terrible person. Literally horrible to me. Horrible. And you think it's even or, or, or something? I hate your guts, dude. Hate you more than I They can go on and on and on for us, and you just have to be non-responsive. Ideally, you should leave because you don't want to be a part of this craziness. But if you have to stay, this is what you do. You just do not give in. You just ignore them. You just treat them like this, this, the chair in the room. And its presence is insignificant in a way. So the narcissist can go on and on and on. But you should also understand that sometimes not giving any response can be dangerous because they can get violent and there might be a true danger to your life. So you have to choose your battles. Some of you might think, well, maybe she is the narcissist and she might have triggered him to react this way and then she is recording this reaction. Possibly, who, who knows? Because this is just a snapshot. There is more information needed for us to know exactly what's going on. But for the sake of this episode and to use this as an example, we can understand that your disconnection, your uninvolvement is your best strategy against the narcissist. It is what you have to do to actually win in the game that you are playing. Do not let them play the game by not becoming a part of it. Now, let me share my recent experience with a narcissist cab driver. I booked a cab, I had to go somewhere, normal cab booking, and nothing seemed wrong in the beginning. But then when I was tracking him, looking at the application, he already changed the status of the booking. He made it seem like he, he had picked me up, I was in the car, and then he drove a couple of kilometers, which I was like, maybe there's, there might have been some traffic jam, some congestion, I don't know. But when he arrived, the base fare was not what it was supposed to be. It was $2 more. Now that it mattered a lot to me, of course not. $2 is not a big thing, but I wanted to know why is it different. I simply asked him a question. Why is the base fare different or more? And it's at that moment, he got the biggest narcissistic injury ever. He was taken aback. It was as if I had stolen something big from him or I had physically hit him or I had done something terrible to him. He got really angry. He started breathing heavily. His face turned red. And it's at that moment I recognized what I was dealing with quite instantly and I knew what I had to do. Guess what I did? First, I checked in with my body because my natural response as a narcissistic abuse survivor is to panic and to react to the situation. I said, nope, we don't need to do that. Let's disempower him the right way. I relaxed my body first. I sat in the car. I was quite stoic, blank. He couldn't guess what I was going through. He was becoming threatening indeed. And I had planned to trigger the safety button if it had gotten worse. But because he was under surveillance, he was subtly aggressive. So he started saying BS under his breath and he was saying stuff that I didn't care about. And he, he was saying like, it's not thousands of kilometers that we have to drive, it's only $2. I wanted to tell him that it's not about $2, it's about me pointing out the obvious. Maybe you do this with other, with other people a few times a day and that means $20 more. This is not the right way of earning. But I didn't say any of that, I kept quiet. And he just started uh, speeding. Still, nothing for me. Then he started honking the horn and he kept getting more and more aggressive because he's, he was not getting anything from me. It was very clear that he wanted a reaction. He wanted me to defend myself. He wanted me to fight. I didn't. I didn't say a word. And then he was going on. He was talking to himself. And I could notice how big and deep uh, those breaths were. It got to a point 
where he started almost rash driving and he turned off the radio that was playing in the car and was like, okay, still does not matter to me at all. When I reached my destination, that is when he tried to belittle me and here is how I gave him one more narcissistic injury. He gave me those two dollars back and they then gave me uh, some amount as a tip. Instead of taking all of that personally and feeling embarrassed, I took those coins, happily so, and put them in my pocket without saying a word, nothing at all. And he was still saying and kept going on, no response, I'm not going to play your game whatsoever. And then I left the car feeling assured that one, I had truly won two, my re no response was the biggest response because that would have burned him inside out. From this experience, I learned what I have learned in the past as well. A narcissist does not like to be called out. They do not like truth tellers. They want you to turn a blind eye and they want you to just enable them. They want you to become a doormat. They want you to play along. They do not want you to point out their dysfunction. They do not want you to tell them how deceitful they are. They do not want you to point out how wrong they are because one, it does not benefit them. Two, it triggers their own shame, their insecure self. And they go crazy instead of, instead of looking within and feeling embarrassed and saying, oh, oh my God, I've been caught. They attack you and they try to destroy you, almost saying, how dare you? You proved me wrong. How could you? They want you to become delusional like they are. They don't want you to point out the obvious. They want you to have moral ambiguity like they have, to make wrong right and right wrong whenever they want to, to get whatever they need. All of this is a part of their uh, narcissistic false self. And you have to be the truth teller. You have to show them the mirror whenever possible, along with protecting yourself. In conclusion, that is what I had to say. And let's stop this episode here. Let me know how you felt while listening to my experiences, how you resonated with them in the comments below. I'll talk with you in the next one. As always, let the healing begin and continue.